The Sims 4 Laundry Day Stuff Pack released January 2018. People who have followed me for years know that I do not really mess with stuff packs. They don't often add meaningful gameplay or new systems. In this case, the pack's purpose is to add a new system to the game, which changes things in small ways. For that reason, and because I actually like it, it's worth covering. I bought this pack with my own money. It wasn't gifted to me by EA. This was the first stuff pack to be created entirely based upon community feedback. I suppose people want realism in the game, and I don't blame them. This is supposed to be a life simulator, and clothes get dirty. A nice feature about this pack is that game to game, it will not function unless you are using the objects related to laundry, like the hampers and washing machine. Without them, the game won't soil your Sims clothes and require you to clean up clothing piles. So in this way, you get to choose when to enable it. Washing appliances and hampers are found in buy mode, sort by function, miscellaneous appliances. You'll have to head to the Outdoor Activities tab to find the wash tub and clothesline. Yes, the low-tech solution to cleaning clothes is included. Despite tubs having a couple benefits, cleaning by hand is so strenuous I recommend going with a machine. A washer and dryer will set you back a thousand simoleons. You can place them side by side or stack them. A second variant includes both, stacked, but children cannot reach the top one. Now on to how laundry piles up. When a sim showers or changes clothes at any point, the used clothing is either tossed on the ground or dropped into the hamper. You only need one hamper per lot. Sims automatically use the closest hamper. Hampers can hold a lot of clothing, nearly two dozen outfits, so you can definitely let the laundry pile up. The nastiness of the hamper and any clothes piles on the ground is based upon how grungy the sim was when they changed clothes. So if they're really low hygiene when they change clothes, they've just pushed up laundry day because no one's going to be anywhere near that hamper without getting sick. You can search pockets for change, which actually provides a tiny bit of income. It's barely worth the animation time for a skilled sim, but it's cool for penny-pinching households. Slobs and lazy sims may not use the hamper at all and will make a mess, leaving these clothes piles everywhere. My sims were not neat, but used the hamper 100% of the time, so long as it wasn't full. Dealing with the laundry is a simple matter of clicking, then choosing the method with which you want to wash the clothes, as you can pick between the washer and tub. Put them in, then select wash, yes it's two steps for reasons we'll get to later, and then the load will begin. It looks like a real load of laundry as it fills up, does a rinse cycle, then ends on a spin cycle, so you can kind of tell when it's almost done. The degree to which the clothes were cleaned will vary. There is clean, but then there's pristine. There's other quality levels, but I didn't see them come up much. The quality of the clothing will be visible when you hover over the selection to transfer to the dryer, especially with the dryer, paying attention to the status is important as it doesn't always get the clothes dry. You may need to do another cycle. It's possible to get pristine cleanliness, then wait too long to begin the dryer, which knocks down the moodlet you get for pristine clothing. Even if clothes aren't pristine, they are clean though, and they'll still make Sims happy. A fortunate coincidence is that when recording this footage just now, I had pristine clothing, but the dryer broke down. It knocked the clothes quality down a notch as Dad had to fix it, which delayed the cycle. Having clothing wet makes Sims unhappy, so always make sure to fully dry them. When you remove the clothing from the dryer, you're stocking your household with clean clothes. When Sims change outfits when laundry has been done in the last couple days, a variety of effects may occur. A questionable choice on the part of the devs is that if clothes are warm, it makes Sims playful, but if enough time has passed for them to cool, then I suppose you get the clean buff for plus one happy. Pristine is plus two for four hours. These are excellent buffs as you can swap clothes right before work, skilling up, or working on friendships and romance. Do remember that you can switch back and forth between outfits throughout the day if you want that fresh clothes feeling. Now, if you are like me, you're going to be doing laundry a lot to get those easy buffs. 
Please remember to check the lint trap on your dryer. No, seriously, go check your lint trap. Bad things can happen if dryers overheat. In reality, you must also remember the exhaust hose. I once removed a three foot long section of eight inch diameter lint from the hose and I'm glad my house didn't catch on fire. Every time you fail to clean the lint trap on your Sims dryer, the odds of a catastrophe will increase and someone might die. This is a good time to mention the fact that you are able to do handiness upgrades on both of these pieces of equipment. This is probably why they didn't bother to add a bunch of washers and dryers. You can boost the quality with handiness and they already look modern. Upgrades start at level 5 handiness and in general take more plumbing upgrade parts than others. You can make the washer clean more deeply, remove the need to clear lint from the dryer, increase speed, and make them both unbreakable. Finally, it is also possible to put a scent additive option on the washer which lets you use flowers or food to scent your clothes. Gross. Food is bad, flowers are good, and gives Sims a plus two confident moodlet. I think that this does replace the happy buff though, so if you like the happy buff better, you would just skip using the flower additive. It only lasts a couple loads anyway. There's a good bit more to this pack than just the laundry system. Children and teens gain responsibility by doing laundry, and it can be done regularly, so it's a good source if you have parenthood. Of course, it also has the usual stuff, mostly wicker furniture and sinks that look like they belong in my grandma's utility room. Overall, the pack would let you make a very convincing utility room, and a few styled rooms are available that fit this theme as well. Whether this pack is worth its $10 price tag or not is going to vary a lot from player to player. I'm sure a few won't see the point while others will be just super happy there's another chore to do because with each edition, The Sims 4 becomes a bit more convincing as a life simulator and this is the direction that Sims games should go. Although I would like to ride a frickin' unicorn, I will accept chores for my Sims. Please hit like if you found this video helpful to you in any way and subscribe for more. I'm learning this process and I have dozens more videos to do. Come participate in the comments and discuss Sims. Thanks a lot for watching.